because one of the big problems with OA is there's a huge amount of information to take in over a long period of time and you have to start building relationships with the people that are going to support you be them the veterinarian being them the therapist be them other members of the practice even communicating with your own family and friends about how you feel about your animal let me take you on a little journey sorry Angel, i will introduce you we had this um lovely message from an owner um one christmas she had all the family come to join her and she was upstairs crying her eyes out, writing to Cam, because she had come downstairs and found her family members throwing the ball across the kitchen room floor for her old and debilitated dog, and she lost the plot. And she suddenly became alienated from the family at Christmas and didn't know what to do with herself. So even communicating with your family is really, really important to make sure that you can do the best for your beloved. So tonight is all about communicating, decision-making with the amazing Cam advisor, Andrew Hale. So please, Andrew, introduce yourself. Hi, Anna. Thanks for having me. And uh, hi, everybody. So um, I'm a, my, my role now, my hat, more generally now is uh, I'm a certified animal behaviorist working predominantly with dogs but pre that um, I worked with humans so I had a long human therapist um, career and that's going to be my supportive role with CAMS I'm very excited about that being a CAMS advisor uh, to look at the emotional experience because it's important we've discussed this before in different places i know uh because that's the one thing that connects us through we have one our dogs have one the vet has one you know we all have an investment in this uh and the thing i'm hoping to offer for cams is to look at the psychology behind a lot of these things and today obviously we're looking at communication uh and decision making and uh that's such an important part of the process and definitely linking it back to the great resources that CAMS has to offer to help in this process. I think that's going to be important. 